Hello friends, welcome to Truth of Physics. Today I will discuss what is sequential Stern-Gerlach experiment. Now, what is a Stern-Gerlach experiment? In a brief, I can say that if we have an oven like this, okay, uh, this have this oven have uh, uh, atoms of silver, okay, silver atom oven, and of, of, and there is a hole in this oven. Okay, I am I am discussing it briefly. Uh, I will later uh, detailedly discuss the what is the Stern Gerlach experiment in a, in some another video. Okay, now uh, what is it uh, doing? What this oven is doing? It is firing this silver atoms towards this direction. Okay, and this is what this is SGZ cap means. There is an uh, in this mechanism in this box there is an inhomogeneous magnetic field. Okay. In this direction, in the Z direction, okay, Z cap, in this Z cap. So whenever the atoms of silver uh, pass through this region, pass through this region, it will deflect or it will experience force, okay. Due to what? Due to the the, uh, the if you look at the configuration of silver atoms, then you can find that uh, the outermost electron is a single electron, and for that reason, its spin interacts with the external magnetic field and that causes the deflection of that atoms and we get two deflections okay due to the spin half uh, electron spin half particle so uh, there is uh, two type of deflection uh, one is z plus component and another is called s z minus component okay so the beam so the beam passing through it a single beam passing through this region will be converted into two beams right right one this and one this is z minus component and one is z plus component now if we block the z minus component and allow the z now this is this thing this thing is called the single standard like experiment now if we repeat that process like this we stop or we um, interrupt this part okay we block this part and we only allow z plus component into an another z SZ, SZ mechanism then what happens then what we should observe that as we have uh, already uh, blocked this component so there is only this component present right in our in our uh, beam so this beam when pass through this region it will gradually be only one beam because the SZ there should not be any SZ component because that is already blocked by this already blocked here right so and and we will see that in the in the experiment also we get only one component and that is SZ plus component now this is one scenario now let us discuss the second scenario here the same thing is happening we uh, pass this beam of silver atoms and uh, through SZ first component then you will get two components and then we block that one component SZ minus and then we pass SZ plus beam through an SGX component now what we'll observe what we have observed that there the beam will speed means what this means means the ex external magnetic field inhomogeneous magnetic field here in in x direction okay in x direction and the beam is a z plus okay a z plus component is there and uh, the magnetic field in x direction then we observe obviously two components and that we that is experimentally verified also and that is true right now you may think why this is happening you may think one reason of this that the the beam the az plus beam it composed of 50 percent 50 percent of sx plus sx plus and another 50 percent is sx minus simultaneously with sz plus right these two beams have sz plus component only there is no sz minus component because it is blocked already so this beam this these two beams we can think of uh, that uh, these two beams consist of 50 percent of this each of these beams consist of 50 percent of sx component and this component also so this beam this beam for example this beam is consisting 50% of SX plus and SZ plus also and this beam also consists of 50% of SZ minus and SZ plus also there is no SZ minus component 
Okay, now how can we check that in these two beams is there any AC uh, minus component at all? That is our third part. Now the same thing is happening here. We have uh, blocked the AZ minus component, AZ plus components pass through SX, uh, SGX like this. Now these two beams will generate like this. These two beams is here and we now block again the SX minus component and SX plus component is passed through another AZZ component, this thing, okay? Again, then what happened and what we deserve to be the result we deserve to be the result that as in both of these two rays or simply this rays as in this rays here from this discussion we get that from in this list ray, uh, in this uh, beam as a z minus is already blocked so there should not be any z minus component but what we experimentally see is uh, experimentally observe that there is there is a presence of a z minus beam also here now what is the reason behind that we have blocked this but then how can we get a z minus component here but it is experimentally verified so this is true so our assumption that this beam this beam these two beams are consisting of only sx ss component and only a z plus component that is wrong that means these two beams have also with sx z plus component there is also a z minus component there exist in these two days right there exist in these two days but how can this be uh, conceptually understandable right so this is the quantum mechanics that says that we cannot determine both a z both a z and a x simultaneously and that you know i think uh, the commutation is not equals to zero of these two uh, things right is sx and sz so more precisely i can say that up to this the az az minus component is not present right in this beam the az minus component is not present but after that when we measure or when we uh, apply the selection or when we select the sx plus beam right by this mechanism when we uh, apply the magnetic field in the x direction means what we are selecting the sx components right sx plus and sx minus means we are selecting this right selecting this component so any measurement we are measuring this so any measurement on this system not exactly any measurement the measurements for which the uh, this relation values right this is equals to not this is not equals to zero for that kind of measurements right that means for non-compatible observables i have made an another video in compatible uh, 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 discussing the compatible what is compatible observable so you must watch that video that there i have discussed uh, detailedly what is the relation and what is the concept of compatible observables so what is uh, uh, what is the correlations of it with the uh, uh, uncertainty principle of measurement right you may watch that video so the for uh, uh for for this kind of things like for the commutation not equals to zero means for in, uh incompatible observables this thing will happen that the measurement measurement of a6 will disturb the measure will disturb or will destroy the previous informations and previous information is what that in this beam there is only a z plus component we have blocked the sx minus component this information is completely destroyed by this measurement of selecting sx plus beam that means when we we cannot measure both a z component and sx component simultaneously because and the main reason is these two observables don't commute the commutation is not equal to zero these two observables are incompatible observables okay so you may watch that video that will be very much helpful for you to understand this now this is very important consequence of quantum mechanics later in the upcoming videos i will discuss more on uh, the star garlic experiment and the analogy with uh, the classical polarization right 
polarization of light there you may understand many concepts of uh, or the consequences of uh, the stern galak experiment and by that uh, after that we will discuss that of why uh, a quantum mechanical state uh, we we always discuss a quantum mechanical state a state kit in a uh, abstract complex vector space why we discuss it uh, in abstract complex vector space so that things i will gradually move to uh, uh, these topics in my upcoming videos so for this video i hope that you have understand all that concepts and share this video with your friends so take care of yourself thanks for watching